So lately I've been busy finishing Bravely Second instead of making videos. Now that I've completed the game, I'm back to making videos, and I wanted to look back at my first impressions of Bravely Second and compare it to what I think of the game now. So this is my quick overall review and opinion on Bravely Second, with as few spoilers as possible. First, we'll start with plot and character. For character, the amount of development for personalities in this game is just awesome. In my first impression, I was talking about Idia's changes from default to second. This time, I'm just going to talk about you over the course of second. At the beginning of the game, you get this inexperienced but spirited soldier of the Crystal Guard. Yu's only focus is saving Anya's, but he doesn't know what to do or how to do it when he actually gets out into the real world, and he relies on his friends Nikolai and Jan. His inexperience can be seen in how he acts a lot near the start, and he even talks. One of the more memorable parts that I can remember this happening very obviously was when the three cavaliers decided to go after Anya's and Yu attempts to encourage his allies with kind of a here we go shout but when he goes to shout his voice starts cracking and pitching a bit making it not so encouraging and showing a bit of youthfulness and he doesn't really understand what he's doing. Now switch over to near the end game he's shouting at the final boss and actually sounds threatening and serious even though the others still poke fun at him at times when he has reached this stage, Yu shows that he's developed a lot over the course of the game, which makes him probably one of my favorite characters out of anything, TV, video, games, books, anything at all. Especially what he does during the final boss, which I'm not going to spoil what that was. You can enjoy that for yourself if you play the game. But what he did was just, oh, it was mind-blowing. I, I loved it. Speaking of not spoiling, I'm just going to say a few things about the plot. Mostly just my opinion of it, which is that the plot is absolutely brilliant. The way the player has to continue the game after Chapter 4 is genius. Kudos to whichever one of you crazy people at Square Enix came up with that idea. It was absolutely amazing. The final boss was interesting, but I found it a bit too easy compared to Default's final boss. I am talking about this on normal difficulty, by the way. And yes, the boss was still a bit easy compared to default. But I'll talk more about gameplay in a bit. The story overall is very good, even though it does feel very similar to default at times, but I feel like they just took that one and did a better job with it in this game. No need to go back and mention music, really, other than that I quite enjoyed this soundtrack a lot. There's a lot of songs from default in this game as well, so even if you don't like the new songs, at least there's the old ones to still look forward to. Same deal with the graphics, as for design of enemies and people in the late game, well, <laughs> Illuminati confirmed with the final boss, I'm not even kidding with that. But joking aside, the designs of everything in second are just really, really cool. The people, the bosses, the plain enemies that you can run into, the backgrounds of locations, the dungeons, the weapons, it just goes on and on. Everything looks great. Only thing that irks me, as I mentioned before in the last one uh, video, is that it looks just a little too much like default, but that's all. They could have just improved or changed the graphics slightly. Now we return to gameplay. This is probably where I have the most to say that's new. As I mentioned earlier, the idea of how to properly shift from Chapter 4 to 5 is amazing. The first cutscene of Chapter 5 is probably one of my favorite cutscenes out of both Bravely games, along with the cutscene with you that I mentioned earlier uh, that happens during the final boss. Here's where I have a problem. I'm not exactly sure which point in the game it began, but I know it was definitely in Chapter 5, so I'm just going to say it was when Chapter 5 began. Last time, I said that I found leveling up a bit too difficult and forced on the player this time around in order to progress, so you had to uh, force yourself to farm a lot more than making it natural. However, once I hit Chapter 5, I have no idea what happened, but everything just seemed to go full tilt and the game became a piece of cake. Just Boom, 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 blasting through all the bosses, all the way to the end. It was very noticeable, and it kind of pulled me out of the game a bit. It spoiled some of the fun and satisfaction that comes out of fighting a harder boss, especially when it came to the last boss, but at least it was better than spending two weeks on a single boss, like I had with default. Oh, that was a mess. 
I just think it should have been a little bit harder and a little slower too. The plot seemed to be rushed slightly near the end. But overall the gameplay was good and I had a good time with it when I was immersed within it. Not much to say on items or features again, but the last few jobs were a lot of fun getting and all the jobs are great. I'm glad I didn't have to repeat the entire length of subplots I had done beforehand and I am very pleased to get a chance at choosing the other side of the story along with the other job. There are now so many crazy possibilities for setups with the new jobs mixed with the old ones, and each job is just so much fun. There's 30 in total, so somebody do the math and figure out how many possible combinations there are. Uh, you just have to try them out for yourself to know what I mean. They feel good. I like the feel of the new jobs. So that's my quick look back at the game and my first impressions. Overall, Bravely Second is now tying for my favorite game of all time. It's either this or default. I can't decide because both have their problems and their brilliance. Now I'm not going to give a out of 10 rating or anything like that. I'm just going to say whether the game is worth it or not. And yes, it most definitely is. If you have the money and a 3DS, just go buy this game. If you haven't played default, that's okay, since they explain Default's story in the opening, but playing Default first will give you a better appreciation for the little things that happen in Second. Putting Default aside though, Second on its own is completely worth playing. It's one of the best 3DS titles ever, and I cannot wait for the next game. Bring it on soon, Square Enix. Please, I am begging you. Now I've got a lot of ideas for other videos relating to Bravely Second, but if there's any specific videos you would like to see, uh, just drop me a comment down below and we'll see what I can do about it. My next video on this game is probably going to be another team build like I did with default, so stick around if you need a good setup to take down some bosses. If you want to know more about my opinions or miss my first impressions video, I'll have a link in the video description for that. Go check that out. That's all for now. Again, Bravely Second is completely worth getting, and I'll see you soon.